Funeral Fridays with Harmony and we are now at Season 2. I know right, time flies. Today, we are here at SGH Singapore General Hospital Block 9 and this particular block is away from the rest of the other blocks which are the uh, ward blocks. This block in particular is actually a mortuary and people also term it as HSA Health Sciences Authority because it's located at the same location. So now it's an empty space because uh, most of the cases would have been cleared off already. In fact, the only cases which do come here right now are the ward cases where patients actually pass on peacefully at the ward with a determined cause of death where the doctor is able to specify. Then the bodies will be pushed via a special route by the porters from the ward down to the mortuary at block 9. So they have this special route that they take and family members um, are supposed to go to block 9 via their own transport either walking or by their own cars or vehicles. Um, it's quite a distance, probably about a 15 minutes walk if you are walking and if you are driving about 7 minutes so do take note. So for this particular mortuary, all um, cases which for example, cases where there are suicide cases or accident cases where, or even cases where the deaths, the doctors are unable to be confident enough to determine the specific cause of death to sign off the certificate of cause of death. All cases will be referred to the coroner here. All such cases, all the bodies will be transferred by a black police car to the mortuary here and then there will be a IO, which is an investigation officer, which is part of the police department tagged to each case. So the family members would usually be the ones to layer with the investigation officer while there will be a coroner who would then determine if given whatever evidence or um, circumstances that has been provided by the investigation officer, if a post-mortem is needed to determine the exact cause of death. So a lot of family members whom we have actually contacted with and helped in the, their grieving moments have expressed that they do not wish and do not want their dearly beloved to undergo post-mortem because that basically means that the body does have to undergo certain procedures uh, for the corona to then specify what is the exact cause of death and this is to prevent any foul play uh, from happening so most of the time this space is like crowded with lots and lots of vents from different funeral companies waiting to actually um, have the body transported to the embalming care centers so that the body can have received a proper bath and embalming process if there is a funeral wait. Uh, however, for certain special circumstances that might not be embalming, right now because it's after um, working hours, it's actually a very clear compound where there are no men, no humans inside. But if you come here at 8.30 a.m. in the morning, you'll usually see it being populated with vans, the vehicles for transporting the bodies, as well as people which are funeral directors or even um, family members of the dearly departed. Sometimes you might even come across reporters or journalists who are actually waiting here, camping here to catch some juicy news so that they can actually publicize such news. So this place is actually quite sad because all cases of unnatural death do come here and most of the time, more often than not, the death is unexpected. So it's unlike a normal case where the death, has, if it is due to an illness for example, the families are prepared for the death, the eventual the demise of someone that they love. But for such cases here, that is not the case. When an investigation officer do tell you to come at, for example, 11 a.m., the body would not be released at exactly 11 a.m. So do take note that it's not like in a normal place, you know, when you're making an appointment, you go there and you have your appointment. That's not the case for here in SGH because as I have also mentioned just now, all uncertified causes of death where the death cannot be exactly determined by the doctor, even accident cases or suicide cases have to come here. Which means that usually, more often than not, there will be a queue. And in other words, you have to wait for your turn before you actually get to retrieve the body and before the body is released to the family member. So if the investigation officer do tell you to come at 11 a.m., do be prepared to wait for at least one hour to two hours or even more depending on the number of deaths the day before. Cases where you have to wait about one to two hours is for cases where there's no postmortem. However, what about cases where the coroner does decide that this case has to 
undergo a post-mortem because they want to exactly know the cause of death and they want to ensure that no foul play is being conducted. Well, then do expect waiting time to extend. So just heads up to be a little bit patient with all of us here and not to get frustrated so fast because we understand that a lot of families are going through a hard time here especially when the death can be so sudden and it's something that they do not want to go through but we are also trying our best to assist you in every step of the way so let us help you in whatever ways we can but just to let you know and let you form an expectation of what is going to happen next this is basically what happens Harmony.